Ladies and gentlemen, 8.6, surface area of a sphere, and you know what a sphere is? It's a circle. It's a ball, it's not a circle, thanks very much. Uh, it's actually, it's actually, it's actually the object that is formed by taking a semicircle, a semicircle, and rotating it around its three-dimensional axis. So if you took a semicircle and you went all the way around, you'd have a sphere. Isn't that amazing? Think of it this way. If you had a point in space, just a random point in the middle of space, and you had a string attached to that point, and you drew another point there, and another point there, and this string went around and around and around, but it's three dimensions, so it's going all the whipping around everywhere, dropping points. The infinite number of points that it would have made would form a sphere. Where does the sphere come Make sense? In the center. In the center. There are an infinite number of points that it created. But I could say that about a line. There's an infinite number of points along that line. Oh, because you can just keep dividing it. Yeah, there's zero points on that line as well. False. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. We're not going to take any notes at the beginning. We're just going to give yeah. you the formula for the surface area of a sphere. We're going to eyeball it. All right. <laughs> surface area of a sphere. Sphere. Is 4 pi r squared. Okay? 4 pi r squared. That is the surface area of a sphere. All right, here we go. Example one, the human eyeball. Uh, this is really interesting. The dimensions of an adult human eyeball are reasonably constant, varying only by a millimeter or two. So if you're like a really short person at like five foot and you're uh, standing next to Zdeno Chara, then your eyeballs are actually very, 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 very similar size. His aren't necessarily bigger than yours. Yes. Uh, Isn't All right. Here we go, reading with me. The average diameter of an eyeball is approximately 2.5 centimeters. We need to calculate the surface area of the human eyeball to the nearest tenth of a square centimeter. All right, here we go. We have the formula. We have, do we have all the information that we need? We have that the diameter is 2.5 centimeters. Is that helpful? No, yeah, we, we need, need the, the radius. radius. And to get the radius, I just divide by two, right? So 1.25 centimeters. Now I can sub in what I know. 4 times pi times 1.25 squared. Hold on. And then we just do the math on that. You can put that whole thing in your calculator. 1.25 squared times 4 <laughs> times pi. And you will get approximately rounded to one decimal place. One. 19.6 centimeters squared. You can go ahead and double check on your calculator. All right, example number two. We're going to find the radius of a baseball. Baseball. Determine the radius of a baseball that has a surface area of 215 squared centimeters. So this time we are not given the radius. Uh, and we're not given the diameter. We're given the surface area. We need to round our answer to the nearest tenth of a centimeter. So. Here we go, let's copy down our formula again. The surface area of a sphere is equal to four pi r squared. Good, you should have that memorized. What is the surface area of this sphere? 215 centimeters. We don't know the radius, so I'll just copy down this side. And now what we need to do is isolate R. We want to solve this thing for R. So what am I going to do to get, R on the other to get R by itself? Well, well, minus R. R. Right now, R is attached to 4 pi by multiplication. So I can divide both sides by 4, by pi. four pi. Okay, in your calculators, this is a little bit tricky. What you're going to do is you're actually going to do uh, 4 times pi, and then, so you can rewrite that. Uh, another way, so 12.6, and on this side we're just left with r squared because these guys cancel out. 
And now you can do 215 divided by 12.6. Are we done? No. What else do we have to do? We need square, to root. square root. Square root like both sides. And we get R is approximately 4.1 units. Centimeters. Centimeters. Squared? No. Because we're just finding the length of the radius, not the area. Excellent. So we can use the surface area of a sphere. If we know the radius, we can find the surface area. If we don't know the radius, but we do know the surface area, we can find the radius by using our algebra skills. Thank you very much. Key concepts. The formula for the surface area of a sphere when the radius is r is 4 pi r squared. And your practice problems are on the next page.